guys, welcome back to the best 4 off 4 channel of the whole of YouTube. Today we are actually doing a really mad trip. Not today, for the next 8 days. Um, yeah, we've been driving for like, I don't know, it's been longer, it's been what? 6 hours. 6 hours on, and this is Pivy. Hello! <laughs> we are going to be joined by a couple of my other mates uh, in the Northern Cape, yeah, Porfada, Klaimpela, and then we're going to be doing the Namakwa Trail. So, as you can see, the page is absolutely loaded to the roof. It is mad. So, we've been doing alright, um, not too far. They've got like five hours left or something like that. It's pretty good timing. Um, yeah, as you saw, the shots have been okay. It's pretty boring stuff. Almost get hijacked in a town, and then the other town's okay. But you know, <laughs> it's living the life. This is what we want to do, I guess. We're born, we're born to flip and breathe and kill and live and steal. I don't know, apparently that's a thing. So, we're going to carry on driving. The new cool things, you know, you know the drill. Roll the music, roll the photos and the videos, and we'll catch you guys in a bit. So guys, we have made it to Khofada, which is was a thousand and fifty k's away from home. Eleven hours, thirty minutes, bang on, and now we are on our way to Klein Pella. So that's another thirty minutes that way. You see my glasses that way, the other side. So gonna head that way, and as soon as we get there, we'll show you camp, and then we'll set up. Catch you guys in a bit. So guys, we are kind of set up. First thing I want to say, this is a good old faithful Padge, Maddie. She has been amazing today. She has honestly just, wow. I'm, I'm so impressed. I'm beyond, like honestly beyond impressed. Roughly 11.1 .1 liters per hundred, fully loaded. Two fridges, tents for two people, um, everything. I mean, you can see it was literally loaded to the roof earlier. So jerry can, I mean, everything. So one tent over here for now. My other mate's probably gonna pull through soon. I'm gonna put a tent there, there. Bra area, my tent. And then obviously the um, the back of the page is basically the functional bar and the kitchen <laughs> for the time being. <laughs> As you can see, this is very important. <laughs> and- uh, All about the gin and tonic. <laughs> that's all it is. And obviously this is our power outlet. So that's what we have. Again, guys, so stoked on this. Wow, honestly. We'll do a bit of an introduction to everyone when we or when they all arrive eventually because apparently guys from Cape Town just drive slowly, yeah? Yeah, see. It's bloody Joe Burgers, I'm telling you. <laughs> Keen to be here though. Stoked. So we have basically all set up camp and everyone else has arrived. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show everyone, well, I'm going to show you guys the rigs that everyone's pulled through. So let's start off with Donald over here because he's loud, American, and he's orange. But first, let's check this bad boy out. So this belongs to the myth, the man, the legend, Scotty T. <laughs> this is Scott. Scott's from where? From Durban. 
He's, he's Devin Putanol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Scott, tell us about your, your rig and your tools, bro. Um, so, it's also a Jeep Rubicon, uh, or a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, 3.6 liter. V6, absolute beast. Goes anywhere, does anything. Yeah. Those are Christmas presents. Unreal, it's got everything. Looks like you're running the whole world over here, bro. Yeah. I mean, check this noise. That's absolutely mad. I mean, I thought I thought my workshop was kitted, but no, this man has it in a box. He's even got the white gloves, eh? Mike, Mikey Jack himself. <laughs> <laughs> white glove man. Hey, make sure he didn't go to a, a, a boarding school in, uh, <laughs> in South Africa, eh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe he's got the white gloves <laughs> syndrome. I'm hiding the white gloves <laughs> So the Stokes also running 35s on the front, lift kit, winch. Um, <laughs> thankfully, you're on an angry grill. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need those in my life. Snorkel, um, six speed manual, seems pretty much obviously seat co covers the whole bang suit. And then we can come around to the back here. We'll take a scroll. And we are. Oh, he's got a. How many liters of fridge? Uh, 69. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 69 liter ALB fridge with a national lunar box uh, running, I think it's 100 and something amp hour battery, what, what, what. But yeah, so that is Scott's Jeep. Now, as we all know, JDM lover myself, we have another boosty boy over here that belongs to the man, the myth, the legend, James. Oh, the Greetings. The weapon, <laughs> so, who are you? I'm James. Where are you from? I'm from Cape Town. What do you do? I am studying a Bachelor of Music. Okay, yeah, cool. In jazz Shh. Let's, 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 yeah, see the, let's see the let's see the rig. You want to see the rig? Let's see this, bro. It's a bit, it's a bit messy for one person, but um. <laughs> <laughs> what? The keep, the, keep the camera up here. Keep the camera up here. Um, this is a 2007 Mitsubishi Colt. Yeah. 2.8. Yeah. TDI. All the boost, bro. Diesel point. Shoo. Okay, man. Um. Yeah. Picked it up a year ago. Okay. Um, loving it. No mm -hmm. problems. Just hit 200,000 Ks. So going strong. Um, mods? Yeah, mods. Uh, I think. Uh, Services. Services. <laughs> uh, body lift. Body, oh yeah. body lift. Body lift. Check this, guys. He's got more than a fist. We all know that if you can put more than a fist, then you're good. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then uh, apart from that, also oh sorry, also thirty ones, thirty ones, basically basically thirty ones. Just pretend so you, you don't read that. that we'll yeah, that tires thirty ones, and tires then an fridges, batteries. This is a custom We're roll bar for a custom roll bar um, to fit the custom top as well. Yeah, the top. We'll check out tomorrow morning because it looks so much better when everything's closed and that it looks. Prom. Yeah. And then obviously just had to slap on the lights. Oh, of course, LED bars. I mean, how do you have a car without an LED bar spots? Do you? Yeah, no, you, you, you gotta have it. No, man. Have a bar. And obviously, interior, look how clean this is for yeah. 200,000 kilometers. And remember, this is what we do here is we shift gears and we drink beers, boys. That's all we do in this channel. <laughs> That's all we do. And then, uh, a 70, a, a, oh, this is also a little, a little home build here. Is a like a shelf in the back, just to be able to put the fridge. Otherwise, usually it's not flat. Because the back of yeah, 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 yeah. That. <laughs> usually it's not flat, so they have built this in. And then I'm running a 72 liter National Luna fridge freezer. You put it in your bum self, guys. Right. All bum self. Guys, trust me. Get a bucky with a suicide door. <laughs> it's it's tough getting in here. And then just running on a 105 amp hour deep cycle battery, lying there in the corner. And that's that. Thanks for. Coming to my crib. <laughs> so essentially, guys, that's basically everyone set up. And we have uh, co-pilot Pivi Soil over here. Hey, <laughs> co-pilot Oli over here. He's fast. He's fast oh, as... Yeah, fast. <laughs> oh, if any ladies watching this YouTube channel, drop me a DM and I'll come to you Slide. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, guys, that's basically our camp. I mean, it's beautiful. It's honestly insane. I can't... I, I, I can't, obviously... I, I just got no words for it. I mean, look at it. It's incredible. It is honestly incredible. So, we're just going to have a relaxed evening, have a couple of beers, and chuck some meat on the fire. Then tomorrow morning, I think we'll catch up with you guys. Power. We'll see you in the morning.
Good morning guys and welcome back to the best 4 x 4 ing overlanding channel on the whole of YouTube. <laughs> so this is the start I guess of our whole trip, uh, second day. And I check out dope this Jimny is though. It's got a, a the Jimny and matching color trailer, it's pretty sick. <laughs> Very cool. Anyway, so today is the proper first day when we start actually doing the trip. We're going to a secret campsite, then we have to go scout and um to see water levels and everything because it might might be like inaccessible because due to the copious amounts of rain that have basically been pulling through in this part of the world um it might be obviously uncampable but otherwise we're ready to rock and roll it's been a little bit of a slow start this morning obviously first morning start you know as as everyone knows and just getting into it so that's how many you're filming now we're all packed up um everyone's getting ready to pack we're doing some cleaning and then we're gonna hit the road. So yeah, that's what we just didn't do. We'll do breakfast tomorrow and that and Thomas's tech tips as per usual. <laughs> but yeah, we are gonna send it in a bit. So I guess catch you guys now. Okay guys, we are ready to leave. The guys are getting ready, taking some photos of the spot. It's amazing. Just putting some the last closing up on the cabs over here. <laughs> And Scott is an absolute bug killer. <laughs> <laughs> the man himself. Yo. Letting Maddie warm up. And we're gonna hit the road. So yeah, let's start sending it. So we're all packed up guys, you're ready to rumble. Uh we got James, we've got Scott in the Jeep, uh as you as you can hear, we've got radios and yeah, everyone's leaving. So I guess we are gonna basically make our way back to Pella and then take it from there. So, catch you guys on the road. At the end of this, can we share one of the two? A hundred percent. So, so basically guys, this is the current situation. This is when you know we're going off-roading. When we have to drop the tire pressure. Oaks like, are so getting busy, <laughs> proper. And I'm bouncing like a bloody, I don't know what. And James is working, so yeah, time to go for being. <laughs> so, as you guys can see on our right over here, we have uh, Pella. I mean, that, that's literally it, that is literally Pella. But in front of us, look at this view, it is absolutely insane. So, we're following this road for a while, and then yeah, I guess that's basically it. Just wanted to show you that. And these insane mountains, absolutely madness. Guys, we're officially on the trail. Like, we are so stoked, oh. honestly. This is, this is beautiful. I mean, look at this. What on earth? It literally looks like something out of like a Star Wars movie. It is, it is incredible. This is what it's about. It is, it is honestly insane. So we've arrived at our first obstacle and you can see, yeah, you can video it now. So you can see here, yeah, we're heading right here. It's basically first four by four part so yeah and there's Jiminy where the trailer is going to send it let's see what he can do Very nice. Slow and easy does the trick, boys. Let's see how the real oaks do it, though. <laughs> Just gonna send us. <laughs> Okay, 
an easy game. This is why we off-road guys. This is this is incredible. This is honestly next level. It's beautiful. This is insane. So as you can see guys, we are currently stopped uh pretty much, I don't know, about an hour out of camp uh from last night. And there's a problem with Maddie. <laughs> Looks like uh head gasket's gone. Um there's the temperature gauge started climbing and also heard basically air coming out of where the cylinder head meets the block and that is never a good idea so we're just, just waiting here and we're gonna find a campsite somewhere around about here and then from there we'll figure it out and um take it to tomorrow but slight ever ever, ever so slight stuff up and then yeah it's gonna pay it by yeah yes it is what it is <laughs> can't change anything this is the name of the game boys this is the name of the game so guys, obviously after, as you know, the Pajero, <laughs> the Pajero is tired. Um, basically it overheated and cylinder head is warped and now I'm seeping air pressure through and coolant as well. So we are overheating. So as I was saying earlier, guys, we stopped and uh, there was a bit of a setup as you saw. We're all packed up now. Going to limp the Pajero back to the same campsite as we were last night. Going to set up camp. So, as you guys can see, we're getting towed by Jamo over there in the Padge, in the Colt, and just Scott behind us heading back to Claim Pala, um, and then we're going to assess the situation from there. Slight stuff up, but hey, this is the name of the game, you know, it's really, it's just, I'm just so sad, to be honest with you, just more than anything, I'm just super, super sad, so, but hey, we're trying, we're trying to make the best of it. So, we made it back to camp, guys, as you can see. We all lined up over here. We're having a drink, and yeah, all I can say is I'm broken. Um, honestly, I, I've never felt this disappointed in my entire life. Just, it, it, it's killed me. It, it honestly has just, just, just broken me as a person. I mean, the amount of time and hours I spent on Maddie, and he goes and does this, you know. It's just, it's not the car's fault. I mean, it's previous owners and all of that, but it's just, it's just so, so, so hard for me to just be like, you know, it's fine because I know what I put into it. So it's, it's very hard. It is extremely hard to take this blow, but <laughs> I think the parents pull through and we have another Mitsubishi and the Toyota on their way tomorrow morning, I think, I think. So we should be able to meet up with these queers um, somewhere on the trail. <laughs> Sorry? I said these queers. So, <laughs> so um, that's the plan of action. But yeah, we'll do a bit of a setup, a bit of tick to bright tips tonight as well, um, as per usual. So yeah, as boys, you can't you can't have an adventure without a problem. I mean, what's the point of having an adventure without a problem? That's not an adventure. So again, stoked that we're back here. I'm gonna go jump in the pool now, put the bra on, plug all the fridges in, and just play head fight here. Catch you guys later. So guys, as you can see, it is dark. The sun has obviously set. Um, camp is slowly but surely getting set up tonight. I'm going to do the same as my other mates over there, where well, you can't really see, but on the right hand side there, uh, just under the page where the light is. Uh, we're doing under the stars and the moon and whatever. But yeah, so I'm going to go and show you what's happening around the fire at the moment, guys. So we're having some chats over here, all around the fire. This is prime, you see? Prime, prime, prime location. Sorry, sorry, James, what are you saying? I said, how's your auntie? <laughs> you check, you check, this guy's chatting cuckoo there, boss. So we've got a fire there, but it's prime. So yeah, 